Boston Trucker here. I'm about to meet the old school trucking Facebook page creator Moshe Azun. How are you, sir? Oh, Mike. Nice you to doing? meet you. Nice to meet you Me too. too. Thank you so much. You like it over here? I love it here in Israel. It's amazing. <laughs> Boston Trucker here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. So, Moshe and I just had a little uh, get, get to know you session, and now we're gonna talk about how we became friends and how we know each other. This is our first time meeting. You drove an hour here to meet me? Yeah. All the way to Jerusalem? Yeah, I live like one hour south from here. An hour south, it's a Friday afternoon. How was the traffic? Uh, it's okay, it's, it's okay. light because it's Friday. So, Moshe and I know each other from Facebook yeah uh, he he runs in my opinion in a lot of people's opinions the greatest you guys are gonna be surprised some of you are gonna be surprised many, <laughs> many people know the greatest American old-school trucking page on Facebook is called old-school trucking and I bet a lot of people don't know that's being run in Israel yeah by Moshe yeah. they know the group they don't know me they know the group, but they yeah. don't know you. How did you How did you decide to start this great Facebook group? You know, I always love uh, the American trucks. And I think like, um, maybe like 15 years ago, I started with all the old school fashion, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, start collecting uh, pictures and stuff like that and post it. Before, way, way before that, I started my own group, you know? Yeah. I was in different group. You remember me from the other uh, different groups. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know. But you have the greatest library of content, yeah. of little videos. You, I think you have a problem with the old school truck. You, <laughs> you have more passion for old school truck than anybody I've ever met in the States. Yeah. It's crazy. And from Israel, for sure. Yeah. And uh, from over there, you know, I have many, many more pictures and uh, video to share, you know. You post so much stuff. I, I, most of the stuff, I'm like, I've never seen it before. Yeah. I don't know how you have so much. I have so, a lot. So why don't you tell the people that are watching this video a little bit about your background and trucking and... Uh, go ahead, tell them. All right. Um, the passion with Star Trucks, with, with the passion with trucks starts from a little kid, you know, because my dad was a trucker over here in, uh, in Israel. Israel. Okay. Yeah, and in uh, 21, I was, uh, my passion was uh, to go to drive trucks in the uh, USA. Oh, yeah. So in uh, 21, I get to, uh, uh, to Brooklyn. Brooklyn, because, New York. Yeah, I got my CDL, and I remember still my first trip going from um, oh. Brooklyn all the way west, Washington, going down to right, Cali. Well, let's slow down, slow down. You get to Brooklyn, New York. You know, yeah. so, you know anybody in Brooklyn? Yeah, my cousin. Um, you have a small moving company, head, small moving okay. company. I know you close it right now. Yeah. And um, you tell me, you know, come work with me. I'm going to buy you a truck to trailer. You're going to drive uh, trucks like you want, like you dream and stuff like that. I said, oh, sound good and everything. This is 1993, you said? No, in uh, 2001. 2001, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One week after I finished my uh, IDF. No idea? IDF is Israeli Defense League. Yeah. So one week after you got out of the just, army? Yeah, just one okay. week after I was already in the plane going uh, to Brooklyn. Yeah, first time in America? First time in America. Okay. You know, and then um, got my CDL, got okay. social security, got my CDL. How everything. did you get your CDL? Um, go to uh, like a trucking school. Truck driving school? Truck driving school, yeah. Was yeah. it in uh, New York or New Jersey? In, uh, in Florida. In Florida, yeah. okay. And um, I come back to New York and they give me a truck and they say, good luck. Really? Just like that. And I have a... Um, what kind of truck was it? Freightliner Century 97. 97, okay. And uh, yep. he give me some uh, Spanish co-driver. Okay. And he tell me you both of them are going to be team together. And um, we left. And you left? Yeah. We move. I mean, go you, to the trip and everything. So, so you're doing moving van? Yeah. So your first, your first time out of the gate, you're in a truck in America. Yeah. You don't know where you are. No, G, no GPS. No G oh, Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. Brand McNally. Like the old school. <laughs> old school. Yeah, of course. Um, so that must have been a shock to you. Yeah. Yeah. 
big shock, right? Driving in New York City. I mean, it was past like 25 years. Till this day, I remember the first days that I drive trucks in. Uh, what do you remember? Like what do you remember about come it? True. Oh, what do you remember about your first days? First of all, to get inside to American trucks and see all the how big is the sleeper and everything. You uh -huh. know, we don't have this in no, Israel. No, I learned that. And um, I remember that uh, we left uh, in the night, so we okay. didn't see too much. Okay. And um, we stopped somewhere in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. To sleep for the night. And I get up in the morning, and then I see the truck stop, uh -huh. and all the great trucks over there. Yeah. And that was actually the first time that I see America, you know, because okay. till, the, till this day, we didn't see too much. Okay. And he say, all right, you're driving. I said, okay, no problem. And we start driving. It was on the 80. Oh, you know, going yeah. west. Yeah, 80 MPA, yeah. <laughs> up and down the hills. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, it took us like three weeks. Three weeks you're out. Yeah. So you went to California? Um, we go in 80 all the way to Washington, Seattle. Okay, yeah. Going down, down on fives. Yeah. Uh, we stop in uh, Oregon, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, unload everything, you know, yeah, many unload, uh, yeah. drops on the way. It's nice. And um, load again in uh, Los Angeles, the, the last one, the last drop. Mm -hmm. And then we load it again. Mm -hmm. And then we go in on the 40. High 40. Yes. Yeah, we stop. We stop in Vegas. Uh -huh. Road again. Um, press on the Hoover Dam. It's Hoover nice. Dam. Back then you could go over the yeah, Hoover Dam. Yeah, exactly. Because you know you can't go over the Hoover no, Dam. Now, no, no, I know. Yeah. And um, going on the 40 all the way. We stop in uh, Arizona, New Mexico, mm -hmm. Texas, um, all the way to North Carolina, and then we take the 95 North uh, to. Um, Back to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Wow. Yeah. Everything was like three weeks. Three week trip. Yeah, it's nothing like that. And then and our truck broke down. This why we have a problem. We have a problem with the turbo. With the what? The turbo? Tuba? Turbo? Turbo. 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 Easy for me to say. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we have a problem with the turbo and yep. uh, the funny is um I just got my CDL so I didn't know exactly. And right. I told the the cloud driver he was much more experienced than me. It was okay. like I think like 50 years old, I was only 20. Did you guys get along? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it was a cool. And okay. I told him, listen, they have a problem with the truck. And he said, no, everything is okay, keep good driving. I said, really? You sure? He said, yeah, no problem, keep driving, keep driving. <laughs> Till she, she, she blew broke up. down, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. And uh, we spent like five days in uh, in San Francisco. Uh, ah, wow. Garage. That's a hell of a place to break down, San yeah. Francisco. Uh, and what did you do for five days? Did you do any tour, touristy stuff? No, we, 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 stuff? Rent, we rent a rider trucks and then we start oh. to unload the trucks to the rider and uh, deliver to all the customers oh, and boy. everything. Yeah. Wow. So it was a nice, you know. It's a good experience. I mean, yeah. that's, you know, that's, what, that's what trucking is. You can't count on anything. Yeah, exactly. You can't make, if you make a plan, yeah. you, you, you got to have a, a backup plan. Did you know about American trucks before you came to America? It's funny, um, I love trucks when I was a, a little kid, you mm -hmm. know, as a baby, because my father is a truck driver. Yep. And I was spend with him most of the, my days. Can you tell me about your father's experience driving trucks? Yeah, like, I mean, he didn't do it from the passion like I did it. Mm -hmm. He do it because back in his day it was nice, it's okay, it was good money and stuff like that. Yep. And I got following that, you know, for the tracking and everything. Did you go with him in the truck? Many times. And what Every time that I can, I was in this truck. That's the, just like me, yeah. yeah. That's like most of us that have the passion for it. What kind of trucks was your father driving? Um, different European trucks, a few American trucks. Um, What's yeah. the best European truck? I remember as a kid, the most that I love, just because it's my dad uh, mm -hmm. uh, drove it, you know, it was a yeah. Duff. Yeah, yeah. Duff 95. A Duff yeah. or DAF? D A F. Def, yeah. DAF. DAF 95, it was an orange one. Ah. And uh, most of my days I was with him going yep. uh, to Elat. Elat okay. is the southest city in Israel. Okay. And um, many days, many days I was with him. Yeah. And what, what was he hauling? Um, uh, I say um, animal food. Animal food. But, okay. uh, pet food. No, no. Not for pets, for farms? Yeah, like um, feed. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. Okay. okay. Exactly. Oh, awesome. And then, is, uh, how long did your father drive for? Um, till uh, the last 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then he was moving to do uh, bus driving. Okay. And then I was in passion. 
and you had the passion. No, he's pension. Oh, oh it's pension. Pen, you know, pension, pension, right? Pension, yeah, yeah, pension. yeah, yeah, retirement. Yeah, retirement. It's yeah, retirement yeah. right now. Yeah. And um, I remember that uh, as a kid, mm -hmm. I was uh, collecting uh, posters, calendars, picture of trucks, yeah. you know, from all over the world. Oh, really? And it's not like today that you have internet and in right. one second you can see whenever, whatever right. you want. Right. Back in, you know, like... Uh, 30 years ago, yeah. to see one picture from outside is like, wow, yeah. amazing and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. That's like when I grew up in America, anytime there was a truck on television, which wasn't very often, I was glued. Like we watched BJ and the Bear, exactly. and Smokey and the Bandit, exactly. and, but that was very few. Now the internet is saturated with everything. trucks. Exactly. You can see whatever you want. I still like going every day, old school trucking. I got to check it out. <laughs> check them out on Facebook. All and, right. Uh, yeah. I start collect everything. Yeah, and uh, all my world when I was kids was all trucks. The, yeah, everything was trucks. Mine was trucks and girls in bikinis. You be, the, but the bikini I put inside the closet. You know, it was open it and you see naked. Uh, no, I had them <laughs> on my walls. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you had trucks. Yeah, American trucks. No, it was um, when I start it was mixed trucks. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I see a picture, I put it on the wall. Okay. But I keep getting more, more and, and more, more and yeah, more. Yeah. So no more uh, room on the wall. Yeah. So then I start. You know what? The American trucks is better, ah. much good looking than uh -oh. the European trucks. Don't say that out yeah, loud. Yeah, I'm dude. sorry it's to all the European guys, you oh know, no. that like uh, oh no. Volvo and Scania and stuff oh, like that. Oh, the Scania guys. Oh, <laughs> boy. They, you know, they're very uh, passionate about their Scanias, yeah, so. which I, I do appreciate all the European trucks. Now no, they're amazing and everything. I don't yeah. say no, you know, they're very comfortable and stuff like that. It's but, different. Yeah. yeah, but it's different, exactly. Yeah. So I just take the, all the European uh, picture from my wall and put American tracks. Yeah, yeah. And even then I end up off, uh, <laughs> off room, you know, and I yeah. get more and more and more. And, um, you know, I grew up with uh, Convo and Smokey and the Bandy. Yeah, and, um, so did you saw those in Israel? Yeah, yeah. you know, I have a big collection of uh, trucking movies. You have, yes, you have a huge collection of trucking movies. I think I have. I think you own them all. Yeah, exactly. We can't find them in America because you bought them all. <laughs> I got most of them, I think, all of them, and um, from there I start with all the passion for old school, you know, from yeah. uh, Convo and Smokey and the Bandit, yep. to see all that uh, old trucks. White Line Fever, Oof, amazing. High Steel Cowboy, Steel exactly, Go ahead, name, it, name some more, come on, you know yeah, the names. Um, Convoy for me, Convoy is number one, Yeah. always was number one, Yeah. then Smokey and the Bandit, Okay. and uh, White Line Fever, yep. uh, Steel Cowboy, Okay. And uh, high balling, high balling. That, that's the top of the old school trucking. Yes, then we have the rest, you know, dual, dual, dual. yeah, yeah, um, maximum overdrive, maximum uh, overdrive, I'm not a big fan yeah, of yeah not, not too much. Exactly. I don't like the uh, goblin on front of the Western Star, I want to see the white Western Star, the goblin ruins it for me. And um, that was like it's not much, much like a, a truck a trucker movie, movie right? Like a movie with trucks inside, right? You know? Right, Convoy and Smoking the Madness was a trucking movie. Oh my god, and I was love it. When uh, in Canvas, I was speaking in the CB, yeah, with CB lingo. Oh yeah, and I love it. I remember that I came to uh, to USA, and uh, we was leaving Brooklyn, uh -huh. and I was like, open the CB, and he say, stop it, stop it, close it. The uh, my uh, co -driver. driver, yeah. And I say, why? Is that? I want to listen, is it? And we talk, and he say, man, you live in the past. Nobody talk like that anymore. <laughs> I say, what you mean? What you? I want to hear. He say, no, 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 forget it. You don't gonna hear it right now with that. Smoky and uh, yeah, give me and some, give me some, some put, put your hand up like you're talking on the CB. Come on, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> Break a one nine. Break a one nine. You got a bear report? Come on. There you go. And um, it's really I didn't hear too much. You know, I mean, you can hear bear report and smoky report and stuff like yeah. that, but not much talking like it was in uh, the, did it in the movie. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, in because it's a movie. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. Trucking isn't a movie. It's real life. I think in this day, my 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 uh, patient disappointed. You know. Yeah. From, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That was a movie. It's in the movie and stuff. That's right. Like that. That's right. That's funny. But I still love it. You know. I mean, yeah. Um, you still watch the American trucking movies? Yeah. Sometimes. Whenever I can. Now, what about your? Uh, do you have any children that are, f are following any passion? No, they're, they're small. Small you know, kids, right, right. The big one is already uh, eight. Okay. And the small one is uh, two years old. Okay. So okay. It's a long way until they're gonna yeah. like trucks and stuff like that, but 
I wish. I mean, I, I have so much big collection. I want to give it to somebody. Ah, you know? ah, <laughs> if not, it's probably going to go with me to the grave or something. Yeah, like yeah, I know. I'm too old for you to send them to me. So, <laughs> yeah, my kids, my kids, my kids aren't into it either, which I'm, I'm, I'm fine with. But uh, yeah. And you have a big collection too, I remember, right? Huh, of, I have, uh, I have some, and um, um, magazines and stuff like that. I have a big collection of American trucker magazines. Yeah. From the 1980s. Did you ever see that? Amer yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. The, I mean, some of the the legendary. We we use that word legendary and old school a little too much, yeah. you know. But uh, sort of legendary trucks. Trucks were born in American Trucker magazine in the 80s, when I was a teenager, waiting for my time to it become. It was better a, than Playboy. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> Way better than Playboy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we we share the same passion for trucks, you know. And and you know what I what I find is from social media that that passion goes all over the world. It's not just yeah. us. It's you know? funny because when I when I was a kid, when I was a kid, you know, I was like thinking that I was the only one that loved uh, trucks. Right. No internet. You don't know nobody around right. you. Right. And sometimes you say, you know, I think I have a friend that loves trucks too, but he lives far, far away. And I'm like, yeah. damn, how can I connect with him? You know? that they have somebody to talk with him about trucks. I never had a friend who had a passion for trucks either. And what have, I, 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 wrote, I said, I read that on Facebook recently. I said, it would have been so cool to have one friend who loved trucks. Back in the but day, But I didn't, you know? I didn't. Nothing. Nothing. But today with the, with the internet. Yeah, you can find each other on the, on the Facebook or the Instagram or the TikTok or whatever. And the, it's, it's the, a big the community. Group, my, my group is more than 2,200. Uh, you know how much? 200,000? Yeah. Right? I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah. Two zero two, zero 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 zero. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand, yeah. really? Yeah. And, wow. And it's like all of them with passion. I didn't uh, get to meet even one when I was a kid. You know? Right, right. <laughs> to right. Talk where, about where were they? About where trucks and they? stuff like that. Where? So you're in America. You're driving trucks. You're living your dream. Yeah. Making some money. Yeah. Yeah. Working hard. Yes. But you love it. Yeah, and I still you, have it. I mean, I wish I was it. able to come back, you know. You're but, driving in snow. You don't have snow in Israel? No. Not much. No. So what was that like? I love, I love it. You I love really driving it. in the snow? Yeah. In the mountains? Like yeah. You know why? I'm you go tell, all the way to Colorado on yep, top, yep. and they tell me, pull over, put chains on the, on the wheels. On. Yeah. 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 And then... Uh, and you love it? Yeah. I love you it. know why you love it? Because you're Israeli. Israeli, everybody has to go in the army. You're tough. You're tough. You're not. Oh, I gotta pull over. There's chains. I gotta. I, there's a. As an inch of snow, I gotta go to bed. No, you get out in your truck. Yeah, that's exactly. right. We do what we need to do. We you know, did what you had to do. You did had what you had to do. Yeah, exactly. They can't do that these days that much anymore, unfortunately. But that's pretty cool. Where were some of the your favorite places to drive in America? Wow. Um, West Coast. Yeah. Especially. Uh, because all the back in the days was very, uh, especially in California, many great old school uh, trucks over yeah. there. Today not. I know they're gonna they, they block they, it, right? They stop it. They're trying to block them. Yeah. 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 But yeah. there's still some. I was love it. You know, yep. to drive on the five or the ninety nine, the, yep. the sides road over the there. The ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, I love um, the forty. Oh yeah. Especially when you can drive uh, 75, 40, 80 80 years, 81, man. 81. No, but when you can drive 75, oh, yeah. 80 years, uh, yep. miles per hour. Oh yeah, yeah 75 also. miles per hour, yeah. And, and that was and that was before the speed limit was 75 miles per hour. <laughs> and <laughs> what about in Texas? Do you remember Texas where it was slow at night and fast in the day? Yeah, it was like two speeds there, uh, yeah. you know, one for night, one for day. And there was a lot of regulations with uh, the Smokey the Bears in Ohio and Virginia. You yeah. remember that? 55. If you pass one, one more, you get a ticket for that. Yeah, in Ohio, right? Ohio, in California. California, yeah. You know, um, my co-driver, the Spanish one, yep. was telling me something funny back in the day. They say, you need to watch out for three, from, uh, three, thi three things. Okay, what were they? One, the traffic in Atlanta. Oh yeah. The bridges in Ohio. No, not Ohio. Not, not in, Ohio. Uh, Chicago. In, uh, Chicago. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, Chicago and the cops in California. Hey, that's good advice. That's it's really. A, he be really careful from these three things. He said it all right there. Yeah. He say. Uh, that's amazing. That's great advice. Wow. Whew. 
and the truck stops. How are the? I don't see any truck stops in Israel. No, I see little no. little little rest stops. We, we, we where, small do the state. where do the trucks park here? We small state, you know. We like yeah. uh, every day we we home, you know. Oh yeah, we yeah. don't have a um, like the size of New Jersey, right? Something like that. Even yeah, less, 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 much less. I think like uh, Rhode Island. No, Rhode Island's no Rhode Island. Rhode Island's uh, forty-two miles. No, no, not Rhode like Island. Delaware? Uh, Delaware, Delaware, I'm sorry, Delaware. Yeah, I could see that. Delaware. Yeah. So, so, something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, we're right now in the center of Israel. It's like one day to go south, one day maybe to go mm -hmm. north. Yeah. You barely go from north to south and back, you know? Right. Usually you come from from the center, either south or either north, and the end of the day you're coming back home. Right. You, know, you drive like anywhere between 10 to 12 hours a day. Sure. Um, legal. Right. I, th I, th you know? I think a trucker was here at some point. <laughs> it leads to the tree. Old school trucker though. The yeah. old school truckers pee outside. The new ones go inside with their <laughs> flip flops and their, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so what do you like? What do you like better, cab over or conventional? Ah, wow. Good questions. I think conventional. Nobody ever tells me good questions, so I'm, I'm enjoying this interview. <laughs> No, because both of them are great trucks. You know? Yeah, both of them are. Uh, I love it. Yeah, you love yeah. the cab overs and you like the conventionals. Yeah. What's the best American cab over? If you had your dream truck right now, money is unlimited. What kind of cab over truck would you buy? Mm, probably gonna go with uh, the uh, K100. K100. Yep. Yeah. With uh, Aerodyne. Uh, Aerodyne, of yeah. course. Yeah. You like Cummins? You like Caterpillar? Cummins. We'll Cum go with Cummins. Okay. A Cummins guy. Yeah. I have a Cummins in my Kenworth. It's okay. Good, right? it's good engine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It does pulls good. What about your favorite conventional truck? You Oof. can only pick one. Ah. It's really can hard. One. It's only two. It's oh, either I know, yeah, I know 359 yeah. or either the W900 uh -huh. uh, A. You uh -huh. know, either that or either that. You know, both yeah. of them are beautiful. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either one of those. Ah, you know what? I picked the KW before, I'm gonna take the, the 359. All right, <laughs> all right, it's yours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you the money and you can have them. You uh, know, I have a 359 tattoo over here. Do you? Yeah. Oh, come on, pull it out. Really? You pull it out, yeah. Let's see it. Pull out the tattoo. And I want to make another one. You're gonna get another one? Yeah, probably with the, with the kids and wife name over here. Yeah. But I still. Um, oh, you gotta take off your whole shirt? Can you pull yeah, down no, seat? it's. Oh, Gary, no, I don't want to take. If I'm gonna be sick, it's All only right. for you. Oh, look at that. That's the old school deal right there. <laughs> that could be the cover shot of the video, but you know. <laughs> I didn't know he had to take his shirt off, but. Bonus for the ladies at home. And, I was and some of the truckers. I'm looking for like um, some great pictures, something that I'm gonna like to put over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's probably gonna be either another 359 or uh -huh. uh, W900. Wow. Either that, either that. You know. You got it. You got the diesel in your blood. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's called. You know. And by the way, if you ask, one of my best time. Yep. In uh, America. Yep. Was when my dad came. Oh really? Yeah. Tell me and about it that. It was a dream for him too. Really? You know. So your father, the Israeli trucker, yeah, comes to the, your his son, his the Amer now the American trucker. Yeah. Now tell me about that. He came. We drove. We drove team for one month. Oh, over. he drove. Yeah. Now did he have? Drive. Did he have to get an American license? No, we we did it. Um, you didn't tell anybody. Yeah. No, but we did it like a uh, international uh, driver license. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we we play like. Uh, like dumb. We didn't know that he's not allowed to drive and stuff like that. Israelis do that a lot. Yeah, I know. Dumb, I'm just a dumb immigrant. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Don't, I, didn't I don't know speak the no language. Oh, what? But, but, yeah. I didn't let him drive in a wait station and stuff like that. Oh, okay, you know, no just, way station. Just in case, you know, that something's going to happen, I'm going to be the driver. Did he make a logbook out? Under my name. Under your name. Okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, um. You know what that's called? Outlaw old school I trucking. Know. You know. We'll give you a pass on that. So your dad liked the trucking in America? Yes. yes and first yes, time yes. driving a long hood probably, right? Yeah. It was wow. a century. Oh uh, yeah, Freightliner Century, right? Yeah. Century, it was like 99, I think she Very was. nice. And um, he loved it. Yeah. He loved it. That's you know, awesome. he didn't want to leave the wheel, you know? He was really? stick to the wheel like that and like, if I was driving, because I was love driving too, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. it was sit like that, you know? Like, like Dad, I don't want to sh- When it's my turn, when it's my yeah. turn, you know? <laughs> I said, okay, Dad, let, let, you drive right now. He was like, all right. <laughs> you know, I, I, 
hope most of the people we know in America have that passion for trucks. Yeah. You know? I wish all of truckers had that feeling that wanted to drive. And it was it's not just a way to make money, it's a it's a way of life. It's a way of living. Yeah. It's a way of living. And I wish they had that uh, pride in the industry the way you did. You know, and you and you're bringing it back to them with your with your group. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that everybody loves my group. You know, I do my best to keep it's it uh, old school and everything. All right, we're talking about old school trucking on Facebook. Is that the only Facebook group called old school trucking? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. There have been other imitators, but you're probably. The, you're, but you're probably the, I'm the first one. You're the group. You're the. How long? So, how, when did you start this Facebook group? This uh, group start. Uh, I think almost three years ago. Okay. Maybe something like no. that. No. Years yeah. ago, two and a half, three years ago. That was like ten years ago. No, come on. Only three years ago, you know. I and, don't uh, okay, well, you started. You know better than I do. Yeah. I feel like I've been on it since I've been in Facebook. I, I, I'm telling you something right now. Yeah. The the the. the I'm gonna talk free, and if something is not good, you tell me, and I'm gonna stop and. Uh, Go ahead. All right. So, you know, I have many uh, video and picture to share. Yes. And in the beginning, I was need to share it like for ten different groups. Okay. You know, yeah, there yeah. was many, many groups. You know, for like, right. uh, only for cab over, or only for uh, conventional, or only yes. for the West Coast, or only for the East Coast. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, it was like need to to okay, this go here and this go there. Right. And in the end, I was like, you know, I was like tired from all the. I say, oh, you know what? It's better than I'm gonna open my group. Yep. I'm gonna unload it, everything. I'm just gonna share it. Yeah. Share it's better than uh, to post over right. and over again. Right. So I just opened the group and I start sharing it. It was more uh, easy. Yeah. And then people start to um, how do you say? Share and, no, and uh, post. Add, no, add add, up. add add people. Yes. Invite people, friends. Yeah, yes, yes. People yes. start to add up and everything. You yep. know? And eventually it was uh, like a kid. You know? Yeah. It was like by himself. Right. You know, and but, but it seems like it's a full-time job for you too. Yeah, you know, sometimes my wife say, "Oh, please stop it, stop it! Yeah, another yeah. picture, another video." You know, it's, it's it not... se seems to me you're posting all day long. It's not, it, it seems like, like it, it, right? it looks like it is. Yeah. You know, if, if I'm gonna show right now my uh, my phone, I have like another thousand uh, picture and video <laughs> just just on my phone. You know, not, so not you're sharing them wherever you are. Yeah, whenever I can. Uh, time, you know. time for another one. <laughs> I can post right now in the video. Of course you could. Of course you could. So you're the only administrator on the page. Yeah. And yeah. how's the language barrier? Sometimes you've reached out to me, kind of as an American consultant, yeah. ask me uh, what does this mean, what does that mean? Because there's a little bit of a language barrier. Like somebody will post, uh, has anybody seen my girlfriend Lucille? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So in the beginning, I didn't know exactly what is that. You right. Know? And if, if you're just watching. You. Lucia was a drug reference that somebody would say at a truck stop, let's say in West Memphis, Arkansas, the Petro, at the McDonald's next door. Anybody see my girlfriend Lucille meaning they're looking for heroin? Yeah. You know, or Mary Jane. And sometimes you don't understand that. No, I, I mean, you, most of the stuff I understand because yep. I really love it. And, and, and like I say, I, I read it a lot about old school. Yep. But in the end, you know, to be honest, I'm not American and right. I didn't grow up over there and I didn't drove trucks back in the 60 and 70 over there. Right. So I don't know everything. And sometimes I have posts that, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's old school or not old school. Before. Right. And then I send it to you and you tell me if it's okay <laughs> I, or not okay to post. I don't know if I'm the best consultant either. I, 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 I don't have somebody else, I'm I, sorry. I, okay, I'll do, I do it. So, uh, you know, if people want to get mad, they get mad at me too. Um, so. You have this big group. I see you try and restrict it. You used to try and restrict it, everything before the 1990s. But yeah. now the 1990s is starting to become old school too. Exactly. So you've, you've loosened up a little bit on that, right? I think my limit gonna be, um, even if it's called old school uh -huh. for now, because of the days, but Century, Columbia, T2000, you know, yeah. that's not old school. It's not. I'm sorry, it's even not. if it's come from the 96 and 97, you know, and it's kind of old school right now. I think you know, 96, it's more than 25 years old. You know what old school to me is? I'm gonna say, not up to 98. At, 98? This, at this point, 97, 98. That's it. Exactly. <coughs> and I love it. But then people send me a picture of the Columbia, and you know, I'm like, yeah, it's not old school. You know, yeah. I can't post it in my group. Listen, I'm sorry. Listen, yes, I'm, but I'm gonna can. say right now, old school truckers 
We appreciate the Columbias, but we we'll look at Columbias. They're one of like a 359s, <laughs> cab overs, 352s, you know, K100, old freight line of cab overs, trans stars. Wow. That, that's old school trucking, let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. You know, I drove freight liners. I'm not uh, posting them in your group. I drove though. too. And yeah, I drove T2000 you... and I love the truck, but in the end, it's not old school. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not right. going to post my 2000 in, uh, in the group. So, what to you is the definition? It's gonna be a hard question of old school trucking besides the trucks is it is it about the truckers too everything yeah everything. i mean sorry. if i need right now to say old school yeah the, the 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 easiest to me to say to you it's like take convoy and smoke in the bandit yeah that's old school that's old school yeah. everything from the trucks for the cb for the truck stop uh, the way they dress how, how they dress i love it yeah I, I told moshe i said i dressed my best old school while on vacation today just for him i wore the i got the pearl snap shirt the work boots the jeans trucker's cap trucker vest i was thinking about it this morning i said me Moshe, he's an old school guy here i gotta look the part so how many years were you in america driving trucks uh only five years and what was what was it that made you come back to israel um probably family in the family, end yep do you have any dreams of going back to America again? And sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, till today. Yep. When I see, um, when I post and I see, uh, you know, uh, pictures mm -hmm. and uh, of the truck stuff and stuff like that. Yep. I still miss it. Yeah. I still miss it. You know? Well, I appreciate you coming out and talk to me. Sure, no problem. It's been a really, uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been great after all these years to finally yeah. meet you. To meet you after all the years, yeah, exactly, and uh, to talk about trucks and everything. Trucks, yeah, because when we were children, we didn't have anybody to yeah, talk to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, now we're, now we're, you know, we're reaching middle age here, and we got a whole network of people to talk with. But uh, I wish you continued success with your channel. And uh, how can people find you? Well, right now, you're old school trucking Facebook, right? Yeah, old school uh, trucking in uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube too. You know, I post in all, the, uh, all of them absolutely whatever and i can i have many many video many video of old school from the 70s yeah. and the 80s the good you know, old days I of amazing amazing the amazing times yeah you know and uh, a few from the 90s but you know the more newer it's less care about it yeah that's know? right that's right so keep up the good work thank Thanks. you for coming out for talking to me and uh what's a what's a good old school saying from Smokey and the bandit Keep the uh, the, Keep the, the greasy side down and the shiny side, side up. Side up, yeah. Put a pedal to the mirror and uh, see you on the other side. You said it all, my friend. All <laughs> right, Boston Trucker. Have a good day. Peace and grease from the Middle East. <laughs> I forgot. I, I brought you a couple things. I brought these for me for my trip. They're not brand new. You can wash oh, them, but okay. they're good. They're from America. Um, anything from America is good for me. Okay. I figured you would like this. <clears throat> a Tootsie Roll. Nice. So the Tootsie Roll truck? Damn! Oh, yeah, you like that? Yeah. All right. Is that the one with the tanker from yeah, the truck from, wash from, and everything? Yeah, Vernon truck wash. Shh, beautiful. Nice one. And uh, it's a very special shirt. It's the Boston Trucker shirt. Nice. All right, Boston Trucker, my YouTube channel. Plug. Oh, love it. And uh, one more thing. I was gonna see it. I don't know how to... It's a little sticker, Boston Trucker. <laughs> so here you go, my friend. Thank Enjoy. you very much. You're welcome. Thank it you very so, much, Such a Mike. pleasure. All right, my friend. Thank you. All right, be good. Bye. Be good. See ya. Thanks. <laughs>